The next thing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sees and that these are very, very important points, we would be uh, beyond uh, the, the rank of stupidity if we didn't pay heed to these points. These things are not preserved over 1400 years for no reason. There's a reason for every single thing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sees and he narrates. Next, what does the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam see? And this is the point that we were mentioning about patience, holding steadfast to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passes by a grave which is emanating a beautiful scent. Beautiful scent that's coming from this grave. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asks, what is this scent? Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam says that this is the grave of a woman who used to comb the hair of the children of Pharaoh. She used to comb the hair of the children of Pharaoh. One day she was combing the hair of the children, child of Pharaoh, one of his daughters. And the comb fell out of her hand. And she said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, she was going to pick it up. And the daughter exclaimed, she said, you believe in a Lord other than my father? She said, yes. I believe in the Lord of Sayyidina Musa alayhi Believe in Allah, the one true God. She took her to Pharaoh. Pharaoh asked her and he said, you believe in another God other than me? She said, yes, I believe in another God other than me. I don't believe you are a God. He told her to renounce this belief. She refused. She had children. Pharaoh commanded for a cauldron of boiling water to be brought forth. And he started throwing each of her children in one by one. After each child, he requests her, go back upon what you believe, otherwise I will throw your next child in. She refuses. Until it comes to her last child. And this last child was still young, still being breastfed by her. Picture this, if you can. They snatched the, the child away from her. And they say to her, look, this is your final chance. Renounce the Lord that you believe in and believe in me as Lord. She starts wavering. Can you imagine? Who wouldn't? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the child to speak. He gave the child ability to speak. The child says, O oh mother, be patient and do not waver from your belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the pain and the punishment of the hereafter is far greater than the few moments of pain that you, you and I will suffer. She stays steadfast on the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just before she is thrown in, she makes one request. She says, all of the bones of my children and I place them all in one grave. That's all I request from you. Pharaoh accepts. She's thrown in, they all die. All of them were gathered together, they were placed in this grave from which the Prophet smells this scent coming. These are not fairy tales, brothers and sisters. These are lessons for you and I if we are willing to take them. These are opportunities for us. Alhamdulillah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to not test us through our families. To not test us by these things. Say Ameen. We don't want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to test us. We're not worthy of being tested. That's the rank of the prophets. That's the rank of the pious. That's the rank of those that are close. We would collapse under the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, when we go through difficulties, people say, Allah is testing me. Trust me, Allah, that's not, that's not a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're paying for your sins most probably. Yeah. If we were tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, you and I would probably not be able to withstand that test. Yeah. 